Hello everyone, and more specifically Tor. Um, so, it's weird that I'm filming it this week, um, because I've literally just put out a video saying what I'm planning on doing with these channels, I'm going to be really consistent, and I'm going to produce Monday and Friday videos. Um, and then uh, I was chatting with Tor this week, uh, on Monday night, um, and we were talking about maybe doing some sort of like vlog tag challenge thing, because we both used to really really enjoy doing tags, um, and it's a really good way to motivate yourself slash another person to produce content um, and so we came up with the idea of doing like a chilled out vlogbrothers response video thing for a little while and see how long that w works out for and encourage each other to be proactive on the YouTubes um, and uh, the conversation came around to our very different video styles those of you who watch Tor who I highly recommend you go check out she's lovely she's one of the sweetest people I know um, and she does these really well edited beautiful like you know she goes out in the world and shows things that are happening in her life and her problem with making videos is the fact that she really wants to do stuff for her videos she actually goes out and do, does them so she comes up with these great videos well my problem with doing videos is I really don't have anything to show when I don't have the energy to show it so most of the time I produce videos and then feel really guilty for not doing more exciting things um, but she also does these great edited videos and I do these rambly one takes um, and the conversation got around to like our most viewed videos and that sort of thing um, during the course of the evening and one of my most viewed edited videos happens to be of showing off my socks from like 2015 um, and it's not a great video in fact it's very dull in hindsight but I was pretty proud of it at the time and it's got some of them it's one of my higher rated videos and higher viewed videos so we decided the first tag should be showing off our socks because that's the thing and I will admit this is actually my second take because I dropped my camera and I was already really long because I was rambling surprisingly um, so this is the second take, just for the sake of clarity. I'm wearing my dressing gown and my PJs, because it's late tonight. Let's do this sock thing. So, um, first off, I have the plain boring ones. I actually organised it this take round. So, plain boring ones, we've got um, uh, ankle socks, trainer socks, and then I've got little teeny tiny, um, teeny tiny uh, socks for work, which I wear with my dolly shoes, and they've got like a little squishy pouch thing at the back so they don't slip down um, so I'm going to put them straight in my bag for work in the morning um, ready to go um, but yeah plain black ones very dull um, then I have another relatively boring set which is these ones all ankle socks they're all they're all bought at the same time so all, they're all from the same pack so they come with this little rose embroidery on it so yeah those ones are all pretty dull but I, I bought them for work when I had to wear different shoes so yeah sensible boring socks pretty down to earth really old trainer socks <laughs> like these ones are de -stain they're stained they're just they're not pretty um this one has got like some coloring to it and i think it might be mismatched actually yeah so that's my rule of thumb actually when it comes to mismatching as long as they're bought at the same time from the same set i don't care about the color it's about the feel so yeah there's those two who are technically mismatched but they're from the same set so they feel the same like if by and by with these roses um I end up losing one half of a pair, I'll put it with another random half of the same set so they don't feel weird. Um, what else? Uh, there's some more relatively boring ones, again, these ones, uh, another mismatched one from the same set, green and blue, um, I don't know how well that's coming up on camera, um, and pink and pink. Um, and trainer socks, I've had these for so long, I've had these since I was like 15. <laughs> Um, so they're nearly 10 years old, um, but again, you can tell they've had the while because they are mismatched. I remember the, the label digging into my school shoes when I was in school. Well, that's, that's old. That's terrifying. Um, then we've got a couple of fun socks, which I was really depressed by how few fun socks I have. So I've got um, these ones with butterflies. Butterflies all over, flutterbys. Um, I've got these two, which um, they've got different patterns on but I, I'm pretty sure these were both bought by my dad um, after a Christmas fair and they're both made out of bamboo don't quote me on that I could be wrong but I'm pretty sure these ones are bamboo so they're kind of they're thicker and softer than normal ankle socks um, and technically biodegradable and um, they're also like antimicrobial or something weird um, because they're made out of bamboo not cotton but they feel like socks to me so there we go they're quite pretty flowers and random flower type thing 
uh, some longer socks. It's summer, so this is my only pair of like woolly socks that I have out at the moment. Um, I just hiccuped. I don't know whether or not I heard on camera, but there we go. Um, but yeah, they're kind of textury. Um, they come up to just below my knees. They're nice. I like them. Um, then we've got some fun socks. Uh, did I talk about these ones? These actually, uh, th these ones are really, really old. Um, these I bought for. Uh, that one's inside out. I bought these ones for uh, in my old job when I was really getting sore from being on my feet all day. So they're like they're like super sporty ones. So they're all breathable on top, like super breathable on top, and then like really squishy on the bottom. Obviously, I've had them for five years, so they're less squishy than one. And they're also like right. It says R there. I don't know whether you see. And this one's got left, but it's inside out. Um, but yeah. So um, when the kind of squishy bit gets kind of moulded to your feet, you stick to the right foot so you don't get any blisters, right or left foot, um, <laughs> accordingly. Um, so yeah, I bought those for work, um, but I don't have to wear them anymore because I have different shoes. Um, and then the last three fun socks, which is depressing that I don't have so many good fun socks anymore. So uh, these ones, I was doing it one hand, it's really hard. These ones are my koala socks and I dropped them. Um, so they've got a koala holding a heart. We need to get little ears. Little ears. They're, they're actually sewed in so they're like, they're squishable. Um, and yeah, holding a heart and looking cute. Yeah. Koala love. Um, uh, I've got these ones which, um, I've had these for so long. These ones are um, knee height but you can pull them up a little bit higher. These are really, really old. You can tell they're kind of worn. I've had these since sixth form, so like whew, seven years, eight years. Um, so they're, they're kind of they're faux lace looking. They've got lace pattern, but they're not actually lace. They're the proper, you know, nylony. Um, and they're they're kind of they look semi translucent when I hold my hand through it, but they're relatively opaque. Um, I've got another pair like this, except they're red as the backing instead of cream. So these ones kind of look like I'm just wearing plain lace with skin texture underneath, and the other ones look more like they're actually coloured. But um, I don't know where those red ones are. They may have a hole in them and been condemned. Um, but these ones are still just about cracking along. Um, they're useful. Um, so hard to do sock bunnies one handed. Do 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 do. Okay, there we go. Um, and then, last but not least, and I nearly missed these ones out. Um, I uh, I just found these by the down the side of my uh, my chest of drawers, and I tried to pop them out so you can actually see what they are. Um, these oh, they're inside out. <laughs> one sec, so hard to do one handed. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. There we go. Um, so these are sloth socks. They've got sloths on the toes. Um, there we go. Sloth socks, she's smiling at you over your toes. Um, it's got like, um, I don't know what sort of plant that is, probably eucalyptus, I guess. Um, but yeah, I, I, I bought, I was buying some gifts for a friend for her birthday, um, and I thought, oh, sloth socks, that would be really cute for her. And then I was like, I'll also buy myself a pair because they're so cute. Oh my gosh. Um, so yeah, these are the socks that I currently have in my socks drawer. I don't have a lot of socks at the moment, it's kind of really sad, and again, most of them are unexciting. Um, on the other side, um, we have the collection of winter socks that I got out just for this video. There we go, tour. Just for you, I got out my winter sock collection. <laughs> um, so yeah, down here we have some brown ones. Um, so there's brown ones, dark brown ones with a cream top and we have the opposite version which is cream tops with brown trims. So I bought these, actually I bought these for a, um, I went to a Knights versus Barbarians costume party and I decided I'd be super duper clever and I'd go as a femme Jedi as a knight, a Jedi knight, haha. -ha. Um, so uh, instead of wearing brown trousers I wore a little white dress and brown socks. So yeah, th those ones I technically bought for a costume party but they're nice and they're, they're winter woolies. Um, I have my slipper socks, these were a gift for Christmas one year so they've got like little um, you know, don't slip pads and they're like super squishy and soft. They're really old. They used to have little um, pom-poms that hung off the um, edge but they fell off ages ago. But I think that they were a gift. I don't usually wear them because the trouble with slippers is you get really sweaty. Um, but they're, they're good for cold. If it's really, really cold, I like them. Um, similarly, old school slippers. I've had these for a very long time. Very, very long time. 
Um, yeah, as you can tell, they're quite worn. Um, and there's one of them's got a hole in the toe. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I don't wear slippers very often, so when I need them, they are there. Um, I've got this monstrosity of a sock. I've had this for whew, so long, so long. Probably about ten years I've had this pair of socks. There was another set which was, again, the reverse patterning, so it was purple with white spots. Um, and they're, they're very thick. And they're very old, as you can tell by the fact that there's just fluff coming off them. Um, but yeah, they're, they're some good winter socks. Um, I've had these for a while. I bought them when I was trying to go back to the white socks phase. Um, when you're going through nostalgia, especially when you start watching anime and you're like, Oh, knee socks are so cute! Um, I don't wear them very often, but it's useful to have knee height winter socks. And these are my owl socks, last but not least. Um, so I've only got one with an owl on it at the moment. Um, the other owl is somewhere I think the cats might have used it as a toy. But it's actually like a little, it's like a squishy, like it's a solid lump of an owl that just sits on top of your toe. Um, and I think in my actual old school sock video I had the same style but with owls, not owls, with robins. So it was red with white patterning and then a little owl on the, a little robin on the toe. It's late at night. Don't judge me, I'm a night owl. What? Um, yeah, even I can't deal with the fact that I'm talking through a sock owl right now. <sighs> Anywho, um, that's the end of this video. Uh, tour. I tag you to show me your D&D dice, your current sets, any classic sets you don't use anymore. Why for? Um, and no, I'm not going to pan out to my face, it's just going to end being an owl. That's your tag. Um, we'll work out the tagging system as we go because obviously you'll tag me with the dice video while you produce the dice video and then I'll do a dice video and then you've got to do your tag straight after. But we'll work it out as we go. Anywho, tweet to good night. It's late. Have fun. I hope you enjoyed this video. I don't know. I still turn the camera around. Hi. Goodbye. Have a good evening.